Tempers are flaring as lines wind out the doors at the DMV. The department is already notorious for testing your patients. But now some locations are consistently seeing waits over five hours long. Our 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle is live at the DMV in Hillcrest with the changes behind the backlog and what you can do to get ahead. Cassie. That's exactly right, Steve. Now the DMV is closed right now, but customers I spoke with here in Hillcrest told me they waited twice as long as they did just a couple weeks ago. The DMV says it's because of a new queuing system as well as the real ID. It was madness in there. Now serving A. It's tough. The DMV lines are, are not easy. At window number 11. It's been a long day. I've been standing this whole time. A wait that used to be under two hours, now around five hours. If you don't have an appointment. 7.30 there is a line uh, around the building. It's pretty typical for DMV. So you stand in the first line to get in, then you stand in another line to wait for the computer, then another line to wait to get a number, and then you just wait from there. I haven't figured out wh what they did that makes it it seems to be worse. The DMV sent 10 News a statement saying the new queuing system and real ID are causing the trouble. About two weeks ago, the new system went online requiring employees to manually enter each customer's ID number, bogging the formerly automatic system down. I think some of the, the way that things are handled might Need, some look, need to be looked at a little bit. The real ID also causing problems with tougher restrictions not many people know about, requiring an electronic application and staff to look at more documents like your birth certificate more carefully. I mean, I've seen some people get a little agitated, but not too bad. Um, just, I see a lot of people just leaving because they're not having it. <laughs> And your best bet is to book an appointment, but it still could take you about a month to get seen. Now, the DMV is apologizing for the long wait times, and they are looking for solutions. Reporting live in Hillcrest, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. Cassie.